Hey folks, I'm Pete and this is Pete's Eats Cooking Videos. Today I have a real treat for you. We're gonna make french fries, homemade french fries. These aren't any old french fries. These are gonna be excellent. They're gonna be better than any New York fries, McDonald's. These are the best. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Here's what you're gonna to need to make the fries. You're gonna need oil. I like using sunflower oil. You can use canola oil, vegetable oil, peanut oil, but not all of oil. You're gonna need potatoes. I like using russet potatoes or Prince Edward Island potatoes. Any potato that makes a good baking potato will make a good fry. You're gonna need a little bit of cornstarch. In terms of utensils, you're gonna need something to drain them in, a sieve, a nice big scoop, and a pot to fry the oil in. I like using a wok. Sometimes I use just a regular pot. Make sure you have a lid on hand. And also I do have this potato uh, uh, french fry former, which you can use if you want, or you can just cut them up. So let's begin. Okay, I've cleaned up the potatoes and taken off any kind of dodgy parts. If you're gonna cut them by hand, what I recommend is uh, do a slice off one side and then it'll stand nice and uh, straight. And then you can cut it into whatever size portions uh, you want. And it really is quite quick. There's no huge holdup with these. I do like to use personally, I like to use the press. I got this as a gift and it really works nicely. So now here's the first little trick. You want to put some cornstarch on here and not too much, just probably a, a tablespoon or two for this amount of potatoes, probably about five or six potatoes. I'm going to stir them up and so that there's a thin little coating of cornstarch on all of them and that'll just melt down with the water that's in this. So if you're making sweet potato fries, which I do, um, you'll want to put a little bit of water in because the sweet potatoes won't render as much water as these uh, as these russets do Okay, so now we're ready to start the fries You'll notice that I have the uh, big pot here, and I only have about one-third uh, Full of oil I would never go more than one-third full in any pot of oil And this is a step where if you're a little bit apprehensive about frying with a lot of oil Forget it buy your fries elsewhere because uh, it really is a huge safety feature here and you want to have a lid nearby just in case you don't want to keep the heat too high it's got to be on a medium high heat and uh, you have to be comfortable doing this so please make sure you're comfortable doing this before you attempt it let's see if the oil is hot enough so I'm going to put one fry in and that is not hot enough notice how it's really not bubbling up at all it's just sitting there there's a tiny bit of bubbles coming off it we need to wait a bit longer so I think we're good to go now the oil's heated up a bit so we can put the uh, more fries in. You don't want to put too many in. That's about a good plate full of fries. You don't want to overcrowd them because you'll, you'll uh, reduce the temperature of the oil too much. So it's been about four minutes or so and uh, now they're sort of 95% done. You can feel they're kind of hard when you hit them with the uh, spatula. So now I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to put them into a strainer. They're not 100%. They're about 95% done. They're definitely not brown. They're still white. And the trick is, we're going to set these aside. We're going to put them in a warming oven after they drain a bit. And then we're going to double fry them. So these ones are the first frying. I'm going to put them in a warming oven now while the other batch is getting done. So now that all the fries have had their first frying, let's put them in for the second frying. You can put more in this time. You don't have to put the uh, same amount. You can put a lot more. It won't take long to fry them up the second time. There you go. And these will just take a minute to have that second frying. And this is the trick. After about two minutes in the second frying, here they come. Beautiful. Give them a nice shake to get all the oil out. Put them on a nice tray and away you go. There you go, beautiful french fries. A little bit of cornstarch, double fry them and they're fabulous. You want to put salt, pepper, vinegar, make poutine if you like. Enjoy!